Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. If you are new, welcome. I am doing an unboxing today from Diamond Art Club. It is a sneak peek for this coming Saturday, which is... This diamond painting is a square. So be looking forward to my next video after this one where I will show you how to measure or how to place, I should say, a square mesh ruler onto one of these canvases. And this big guy is from Randall Spangler. It's called O oh, for a Book and a Shady Nook. And here is what the full image looks like. So, let's see. Let me give you a little details about this one. It is 89 by 56, so it's pretty darn big. It has 52 colors with 5AB. Now, I'm not quite sure what the price is, but the bigger ones generally run anywhere from $69.99 to $89.99. So it'll be anywhere within that price range. Um, you can, if you are a... Um, first time buyer for Diamond Art Club. Oops, sorry about that. If you are a first time buyer from Diamond, for Diamond Art Club, you can use my 20% off code down below in the description box. Please check out the description box. There is a lot of helpful, helpful information for you down there. If you have already purchased from Diamond Art Club, just watch for their sales. Or if you want to buy this on release day, look, um, you can use one of your codes that you have in the many places uh, co that come with your diamond art kit. So one of the places is in the packing slip that you receive the, you know, the outside box that comes from the shipping company. There's a, a packing slip in there. It has a code. You also will find a code on the thank you pamphlet that's inside of the diamond painting. And you will find one at the bottom of your canvas. Now, I wasn't so lucky to get a one of the uh, newer toolkits, but it, toolkits still all you need. Any toolkit that they send is all you need to be able to do your very first drill. Start placing drills. All you need is this. All right. So here is the first thing you get, and it is a little sticker. And a lot of people have been putting their stickers on the bottom of their boxes, like so, so that when they file their boxes on their shelves, they can just look at the picture and know what it's gonna be. I personally don't mind just pulling it out a little bit to see the sticker that's already on here because I like to use my sticker for my journal because I have many, many of these books and this helps me be able to see what I have and what I'm looking to do next. So, O for book and a shady nook. That's where I've got mine, my book. And that's where I keep all of them. Once I unbox them, I put them in here. Some of these you may not have seen. Something went wrong. Yeah, I've got a very rude Alexa. She likes to interrupt me. <laughs> All right, so yeah, don't look at these because some of these I haven't posted the video for yet, but uh, you may have seen some of these others. They were sneak peeks as well, but that's what I like to do with my sticker. Now, what we have in this toolkit, I will just give you a quick peek. This is a square toolkit for a square diamond painting, and they come with one extra thing that the other ones do not. They come with this pair of pointy tweezers that are great for picking up square drills. Not so much the round ones. If you want to pick up round drills, I suggest that you use or invest yourself in a pair of these. These are good for picking up round drills and squares, but there's also a pair of the scoop tweezers that you can use for round drills. And that's what these these look like. And I carry all three type in my shop. Link is down below. And I have more than just black. Just so you know. All right. So 
so much for tweezers. All right, there are also, you also get a magic, um, magic applicator. That's what they have it called on here, which is your drill pen. You get a drill tray. You get a bunch of baggies, all bunch of them. So you are able to just kit up right away with what they give you, which is really awesome. And then you get a four thin placer. That's what this is. And I carry the whole line of the thin placers. And you get some heart-shaped wax. If you're looking for more, I have that those as well. I have it in blue and we have other square or heart-shaped wax as well. And then you get a comfort grip, which is also known as a squishy. So there is our toolkit, the square toolkit, I should say. And let's move on to the diamond painting. Would it help, I want your opinion here, would it help for those of you who have watched many of my unboxings, if I put down in the description chapters so that you could skip over the part with the toolkits? Because I know those of you who have been watching my videos for from the beginning for you know three plus years you've seen it many times i do that mainly for the people who have never seen one of my unboxings or know what come in a diamond art club kit so let me know down below if that's something you'd like to see and if so i'll put in that extra time it takes to add chapters in but only if you guys re say that it's something you would use because it does take time to do that and if people aren't even reading the description there's no point in me putting really anything in the description so yeah let me know down below in the comments all right here is our diamond painting it is very heavy because this is a fairly large kit so they come in this bag which you can reseal if you take this off carefully but that's not something a lot of people tend to do because they want to just rip into it and get a look and i've got fuzzies just getting all over my table this table just for those who want to know is a very special valentine's gift i got from my husband you can see right here this green that's because this is a uh, puzzle table and you take this layer off and it's attached on with these little knobs and then you lift it you can take this piece off and then it's felted underneath and the bottom of this is felted as well so that when you put it down it's pressed tightly but once you get this off, the portion that's felted underneath, you can tilt upwards if you want. I don't, I haven't tried doing a puzzle tilted. I should, but I generally like to take a clump of puzzle pieces and plop it on the table and then pick through them and put them in different piles. So it doesn't help if you have piles of pieces on your table, but it, it, it would probably do really well for my neck if I tilted the table up with the pieces flat. So I'm going to try that my next puzzle. I've already done two of them since he got this for me but I thought I'd do it in here in the living room on the table because it's a gloomy day and we don't have very much natural light coming in through the window so I uh, didn't really want to do it over there and be looking out at the gloomy sky so here we are on my puzzle table today all right there's the big package of drills which we will look at in a moment and you also get your step-by-step -step instructions that i told you has a thank you code inside and it's got some other helpful information and then you get your inventory sheet which is more than an inventory sheet because it's a sticker page that has each one of your drills that you're going to need separately stickered as you can see there they are individually, yeah, if you can see, I don't know if it's focusing. Yeah, but those are separate stickers. So all you have to do is stick them on one of those envelopes they sent you, or if you can wait and kit it up somewhere else, put it on the, whatever it is you're gonna kit your drills into. Then it's got a larger image of what it is going to look like. Well, the original art piece has some information that you will probably want a reference to your start and end date, the name of it. And these are, some people don't even like to use the stickers on these. They like to keep them as is, but it's up to you what you want to do with it. 
So this was this says that there are five ABs, I do believe we said. Yes. So with Diamond Art Club, you know if it's going to be an AB drill by the number, the color code. If it's below 150, it's going to be an AB. So let's look a little closer at what these numbers are here. I can get in the camera. All right. So we have number one, which looks like it's an orangish red color, 107. And then number two is 129, which is a yellow, maybe yellowish green. I'm not sure yet. Three is 134, which is a bright green. Four is a beautifully bright blue, which is number 136. And then the fifth one is the white color 141, code five on the canvas. So I'm going to try to find all of these AB spots for you. I'll be looking for numbers one through five. So let's open this canvas and take a peek. All right, so it is printed in landscape, obviously, because it's wide, wider than it is tall. I can't get the full thing in camera view, but there it is rolled out. I love these draglings, and they always seem to put the tail in the picture so you can know which one it is. Now, I thought that the one with five was uh, the, the girl, but I'm thinking the four is Dagmar and the five is, I think, Dewey. I have his book somewhere. I've got to re-educate uh, myself on those dragling, dragling names. But this, I think this is the male because I don't see those eyelashes either that are normally on Dagmar. I know her name is Dagmar. But look at these. I mean, it's a lot of brown, but it's, it's really vibrant. Look at the colors. You got some really bold looking reds going on down here and this tree looks so realistic and the the hanging lights this actually looks a lot cooler than i thought it would look by looking at the picture but these mushrooms they're so realistic looking i mean and there's a little fairy girl right there oh my gosh this is really cute and then you've got him leaning on his elbows and he's reading a book and he's stuck in that little nook there and the book is called stories <laughs> it's got a wizard hat and a wand maybe he's reading a um, Harry Potter wannabe or look-alike or maybe it is Harry Potter who knows and then you've got some autumn looking leaves up here at the top beautiful green leaves here and then the more of these acorn lamps oh i love the big purple book in the middle the main focus is the book and the dragon but these look at these beautiful red mushrooms oh my gosh they're just so pretty i love those colors so let's look at the drills um well no we're not gonna look at the drills we're gonna look to see where these these um ab drills are gonna go i'm gonna have it rolled up halfway like this and then I'll move from left to right that way you can see what I'm looking at and when I point and say oh there's drill ABs right there you'll know where it is all right so let's start down here number five is the white and it's going to be the speckles on these mushrooms and that's the first thing I'm seeing you got some threes, which is the green here and the greenery. And then you've got a little caterpillar here that's green. So those will be A, B. There's more in the grass down here, just a little bit. But I think that's because that's another caterpillar right in there mixed in with a different green color. Then you've got some more fives in the edging of the book. Uh, so you have it on this edge too. A couple of dots of white there. Some fives in this snail. And there's more in the front of the snail. And you got fives in the middle of the hat where it says the letter C. And then more fives in this star symbol, star shape there. We've got, let's see, more of the fives in this corner. And these two dots. And right there, the pages are going to be AB, the white part of the page. And then, of course, it's going to be the same here in this corner. There's one there, some there, and there. 
And if you didn't notice, he's they've got he's got like a stick holding his book up right here. Let's see. I don't see any other ABs in the book itself or the mushrooms. And let's see up here in the leaves. Yes, we have some of the green AB right here. Then we have number five, which is the white in the middle of the acorn light. And then the yellow color that's surrounding the middle. Those are going to be all ABs in there. Up here, I don't know if you can see that. Let me pull it down a little bit. The light, the string that's holding the, the light, uh, there's a line of white ABs going up through there. I'm looking at the blue to see if we've got... Here's a couple of the blue AB, just two, and then two here. I'm not sure if those are supposed to be maybe fireflies, but they're actually awfully small for this perspective to be a firefly. Maybe it's just light, I don't know. But we got two there and then one one there. And I'm just checking this corner over here to see if I missed a color, which I don't see any ABs other than this right here and then the little bits of blue. See, I, they don't make a brown AB, so anywhere you find brown, you're more than likely not going to have ABs, unless there's like white or something in the middle of it. All right, so we did that first acorn. Now up here, we have more of the green ABs in these leaves up here at the top. And in this one, so same with the other light. These are ABs. Then we've got some of the four just randomly around here. Um, not there, but you've got some right there and a couple right there and then three right there. And then you've got your ABs in the middle of the acorn like before the five and the two. So the white and the yellow. And... That's it for this top half here. But this acorn, you're gonna again going to get the twos and the fives in the middle. And then the fives going at the top. You um, get a little bit more of the threes in the leaves up here. Right, and these two, the brighter green. And then you've got some right there and a little bit right there. This one and this one and this one do not have the ABs in them. They are a darker green color. All right, let's move down. I'm kind of moving down and over at the same time. As far as the draggling, we've got number two in his horn ears, two and five. So two and then five, and then we've got twos, more twos here, twos there. You've got threes on his, um, around his uh, eye, the one eye, and in the middle, the center of his eyes are going to be number five AB. And more threes you don't have the four in the eyes but you've got more threes here you've got the twos on the, the nostrils and then the threes and then let's see where else you got fre his freckles it looks like freckles are spots of number two on the cheeks and the spine has threes all the bright green here is going to be um the green ab all the way through here and down through here and then we've got a, a two here and a five here and a two there. And then just a couple of twos right there. And if you look down here, there's some fives. I'm not sure what those are from this angle. Oh, they might be his toenails. Yep, those are his back toes. And then you've got some threes down in here in the grass. This frog has quite a bit of threes and fives and twos. So threes, fives, and twos in the frog. There's another caterpillar looking shape right there. So those are threes. And we've got more threes right here. Looks like grass. And then the mushroom over here has the five speckles. The speckled spots are the fives. And then, lastly, we have our little area over here. Well, there's more green threes, ABs, and some threes there as well. And then our little area where the fairy is, all of this greenery right here, 
All the bright green spots you're going to see are going to be ABs. Those are number three here as well. And all the way through here, all the way up to the tip and these leaves, lots of bright green though. So you have a lot of green AB. This one, it's right there and there, there and there. And then you've got these five specks, five specks. Let, number fives are speckled throughout this area. It must be pixie dust or something or fairy dust because they're just like out there by themselves, these fives. And then her wings are outlined in the five. So you got AB outlined wings. You got a little bit of a two and then some more fives inside the wings. And then you can see through her wing to the leaf behind. So you've got the green AB from the leaf in her actual wing because they're apparently transparent like that and then more speckles in this wing here and then you've got her the top of her knee is an ab and then it looks like her arm as well is going to be the ab5 and that wraps it up for the ab's um as far as the canvas goes it is made out of a material called tarpaulin which is their proprietary patented material that they use for their, their canvas because it is makes your diamond painting self-flattening and it retains your co color for a lifetime. And that way you're not having to worry about the faded background of your diamond painting when you have little gaps or tiny gaps or big gaps, whatever type of gaps you have. Some rounds you'll have obvious gaps because they're round drills and they don't fit flush to each other, but with squares, they're not so much seen, but they are still, there are still gaps between drills in places sometimes because uh, it just happens. So you're gonna want a canvas that is gonna have the full color behind those drills as long as you own your diamond painting or the lifetime of the diamond painting. You don't want to have the color fading. So that's why they make their canvases with tarpaulin and they surge the edges so that it it won't fray on you. You won't end up getting little pieces falling off and then start stringing like you see with those those plastic type canvases. And they have a nice bright key, one at the bottom right, and then you have another one at the top left. And you also have a lifetime um, accidental drill replacement policy free missing diamonds protection. That's what it's called. And they have their email address here. You've got social information, social media information on here. And then you have at the other side of the canvas, you're going to get your information about the diamond painting. And I like to leave this corner, at least on the canvas. If I'm going to be framing it without the edges, I I'd like to actually keep this piece somewhere just for the heck of it. I don't know. Sometimes people will do that and then they'll like staple it to the back of the frame just in case somebody doesn't know what the name of it is. And that way it's always it's always attached to your diamond painting what the name of it is and who the artist is. All right. So are you excited to see these drills? I am. But look at how flat this is. I mean, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to re-roll it or press it or anything. And it's, you know, it's perfectly flat. I mean, the edges may, might stay a little curled for a little while. But if you leave it flat, it will completely lie flat for you. All right. So let's pull out those diamonds. And I call them drills. And just for my curiosity, what do you call them? Uh, I've seen people call them stones tiles, diamonds, drills, facets, I don't know. No, facets aren't, aren't what these are because facets are how many sides there are on each drill. But I'm curious, what do you call them? Let's take a look at these beauties. All right, here we go with our very first pack lineup. We've got our bags that have the little amounts in them so you're not going to be using these colors for very long got to figure out where my camera is i'm zoomed in so far okay there we go so i'm going to start showing these colors when i get to the ab drills i will stop and show them to you up close
And we have our first one, which is the blue, number 136. See how shiny? You can see the, the light sparkling off of those a lot more than the regular drills. That's because they've got that coating on them, the AB coating that gives your diamond painting a zap of color sparkle in the spots that you put them on. And that coating is called AB because it's short for Aurora Borealis. They named it that because it reminds us of the Northern Lights, the way it shifts and changes colors depending on what direction you look at it. So that blue is really beautiful. It's too bad it's not on more spots. I mean, but this diamond painting really doesn't have any blue areas, just that the spots where these are placed, that's basically the only real bright blue you get on here. And then we've got some more colors. All right, let me go back because there we are. And There's a, you know, there's a darker blue right there. I mean, it looks bright, but it's actually a darker blue. It's bright because of the light shining onto it. And then here's some more. More colors. Love those bright oranges. I'm guessing those are going to be in the mushrooms, maybe, and the leaves. The, the orange and this yellow here. And here we go with some purple, because we know how much I love my purple. And then that's it for this strip. And the next strip we have starts off with the green AB. And we have one bag of that. It's pretty big though. There's a lot of those green ABs on this canvas. And here's some more earthy colors for that tree. 815 has, looks like three bags. And then 310, you're gonna get two bags. And then here's some more purple colors. 3837, which is probably the main color of the book, you get two bags of that. And then a dark blue, a dark brown. You get 3371, you've got three bags of that. Next strip we have more ABs. Uh, this is the reddish orange color, which is number one. And I don't remember where I saw it because I really don't remember showing one on the canvas. And I don't know where it would be by looking at the picture because it doesn't look like anything's red. Maybe they go on the mushrooms. I'm gonna have to look real quick. Yeah, I found them. They were so blended in, I couldn't see them. But if you can look on the mushroom here, where is his finger? You can see the ones, are are the brighter red that go around some of the spots on the mushrooms. So that's where the red number one's gonna be. It's on this big mushroom, it's on the group that's right with it, the very far ones on the left. You can see some at the on the bottom one, and then over on this one. So let me look at the other side. Yeah, you've got a little bit on the other side too. I'm, I'm sure you probably can't see it because, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see those ones right in here. And then around the edge. And then also on the big one next to it. You've got more of that bright red. So sorry I missed that when I was showing the canvas. I totally forgot about that number. That's what happens when there's five different colors. It's hard to actually catch all five of them. And there's, so there's that beautiful red AB color. And then next to it, we have our yellow color, which I believe is number two. Yeah, that's number two. You can see how pretty that shimmering shine is. No, you can't because I got it too far over. 
there you go. You can see the sparkle to those. And then let's move on. And I think we only have the one color left. And that would be this white right here, which is the one color that is the easiest to see the AB coating on because it sparkles so much. So there's our white AB, which is number five. And I believe that's all the AB colors. So the rest will just be the normal colors that are in here. And here's the back side. Go. There's a lot of drills here, guys. So I'm trying to manage on this table. I mean, it's kind of big, but I've got a lot of stuff on here for filming. You've got two bags of this 814 maroon looking color. No, oh, three bags. Sorry. No. Oh, wow. Okay. Four bags. Should have stopped saying the number until I counted them all. So there's four bags of this color, which I'm also guessing is part of the tree. And then we have another light brown color. And lastly, we have, here's a red color, but it looks really bright in the camera. And it, it's not, it's a more of a medium type red in person. So yeah, this is not, just same with this one. These are a darker red. You can see the difference, but they aren't, they aren't they're a little duller than you can see in the video because of the uh the lights it's making them look like they're really bright and then we have this green 890 we have two bags of that and moving on I'm trying to stay in the view there you go two bags Two bags of 400. Then we get into some more greens. We have 905, in which there are two bags of that. And then some browns, two bags of 300. My favorite 550, purple. This beautiful purple color. More greens. We've got two bags of 904, more purples, two bags of that 908, and then a big bag of 355. All right, I know it took me a long time going through these drills. I'm sorry about that. You know, you don't, if I, that'll also help for those that want to skip over certain parts of the video. You can just skip right over those parts by using the chapters that I place in the description box. But like I said, if no one's going to read the description box, I'm, I'm not going to worry about doing it because it does take time. Um, but if it's something you'd like to see, then please, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you would prefer to watch unboxings, especially when I give a lot of detail on certain things like the drills and I give details on where the ABs go. I show you the toolkit. I show you everything because I want you to know what you're getting. And I want you to see as many details of that diamond painting so that you can make your decision on whether you want it or not, because it's really hard to tell if you want something by looking at a picture on the computer. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys leaving me your uh, messages in the in the um, <laughs> in the message section, message section down below. And I appreciate all of my followers. Thank you so much. And those who are here new and have decided to hit that subscribe button, thank you too. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be here, honestly. I wouldn't keep doing these videos. There's been many times that I have wanted to just stop. But, you know, it's encouraging comments from you guys that keep me coming back. Um, and I love to be able to hear feedback from you guys and i love to just even see someone saying hi in the comments it just it just makes me smile to know that you guys actually are still there and watching because sometimes this is just really odd sometimes just talking to a into a microphone or whatever i'm using at the time and not having anybody talk back with me so it's that's why the comments are so important to me because it feels like i'm doing this for somebody other than 
myself because I'm not really doing it for me. I'm doing it for you guys because I want you to know what's there. So thank you again, every one of you. And please don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and leave me that comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.